Hey guys, I am trying something new today. This is a bag of regular rice. Um, what's it say? Enriched long grain white rice, just plain old rice. I put one cup in here and I just poured some cold water in on top of it to let it soak. What I'm going to try and make is some homemade rice flour because I want to make some dog snacks for my pup. And they say that rice flour is better to use than regular all-purpose flour. So, okay, I'm going to let this soak. I'm going to pour it off and then I have to dry it. Um, I'll so let you see how this goes. All right, so I have a sheet pan out here and I'm going to put the, the rice in there after I pour off all the water. So pour off the water and then we have left to dry. So hang on a sec. Okay, so I just poured it all off. Oh, drop some. All right, and I just, my curiosity is really getting the better of me. I don't understand why I have to go through all of this and why I just can't pulse up the regular rice in the food processor. So, all right, well, here it is laying out. We're gonna dry this. It'll have to probably be overnight. So I'll make my dog some snacks with this rice flour tomorrow, I guess. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so it wouldn't be me without bucking the system and going rogue and trying to figure out why I have to do all that stuff to make this rice flour. So here's the rice. Here's a cup of it. I didn't do anything to it. And put it in the food processor and see what happens. I mean, the worst thing that happens is I, I throw it away. Right? Okay, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Now I know why I can't just do that. So we'll wait until this rice dries on the sheet pan. Okay, so now that rice that didn't blend up together uh, in the food processor, I just put it in here. I'm going to put a top on it and put it in the freezer. They say if you freeze it. So we'll see which one works. My poor puppy, he's like, what on God's green earth are you doing? Hey guys, so that rice that I had on the stove on the wax paper, I decided to put it on some paper towels. I figure it should dry faster if it's on paper towels, right? And then that other bit of rice is still in the freezer. So I'll be back. Okay, so it's on paper towel. We'll put some right over the top. Okay, you guys, I just took this out of the freezer. I had the cover on it for a while and it didn't seem like it was cold enough, so I took the cover off of it. We'll see. I think, uh, well, I'm skeptical. Let's see. All right, I'm going to let it go for a minute or two, so hang on. All right, I had that going for three full minutes. Nothing. So that doesn't work. That was, rice was in the freezer for an hour. And that's still rice. So don't do that. We're going to have to wait for this to dry, and we'll be back when it's dry. Not this, but the stuff I have drying. All right. Here's the rice. It's been drying for, it's been actually three hours. So this looks good and dry. Now I'm going to put it in the food processor. So let me, hang on, let me put it in a bowl, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here, here's the rice, and it is good and dry. I hope it's all right. I hope it's not too dry. Let's see if this works. Okay. Fingers crossed. It 
looks like it's going to go for a while. So let me come back. I'm going to, I'm going to come back and uh, let this food processor spin for another minute or two. So I'll be back. You guys, this is working. I am amazed. Look at this. It's totally flour. I look at that. Ah, I'm like so excited. <laughs> All right, let me let me get a bowl. I think I'm gonna put it through a, a mesh sieve and see how finely it's been done. But yay! Right here we go. I got this. Let's see if I can. I am amazed that this worked. All right, so I'm just gonna do <laughs> this. I'm just gonna sift this flour through. If there's anything else that needs to be ground up again, and I'm gonna grind it. And then I have another bit of rice that I showed you that I couldn't grind up. This is crazy. I am so happy to know this process. And it takes a little, it takes a little while. It's not that big a deal. But now you see that you don't, you know, you saw how you have to do it. And now you understand why you have to do it. And I understand it too. So there's my flour. So I'm going to make some dog biscuits for my, for my boy. So thanks for watching Tivy Time.